Dear students of 8th standard, good morning. I am your biology teacher, Mrs. Chitra, from Nelanada Metric High Secondary School. I wish you and welcome you all for this online learning platform. I hope everybody is safe and healthy at home. As a biology teacher, I would like to share a few words with you before begin the class. Everybody knows prevention is better than cure and health this well. You children are the wealth of your family as well as wealth of the nation. So, take care of your health. Okay, let us start the class. Our first topic is microorganisms. Under microorganisms, we are going to discuss about what are microorganisms, where do they live, how are they classified? What are microorganisms? Microorganisms are too small in size. Microorganisms cannot be seen through our naked eyes. Microorganisms can be seen only through the microscope. So, they are also known as microbes. The science that deals with the study of microorganisms is known as microbiology. Where do microorganisms occur? Microorganisms occur everywhere. They are found in air, water, soil and even inside our bodies. Some of the microorganisms can survive in severe conditions such as snow, desert, hot spring, and deep oceans. They remain inactive under unfavorable conditions and become active during favorable conditions. What is the meaning of unfavorable conditions? If the conditions such as water, food, climatic conditions are not good for their survival means that is called unfavorable conditions. Favorable condition means the climatic conditions, temperature, food, water, everything is good means they are called favorable conditions. So the microorganisms remain inactive during the unfavorable condition and become active during the favorable condition. All the microorganisms are grouped into five categories. They are bacteria, viruses, algae, fungi and protozoa. Now we will see one by one in detail. First we are going to discuss about viruses. Now we will see what are viruses and what are the general features of viruses. Viruses are tiny particles and smaller than bacteria. They have different shapes such as rod, spherical, etc. Virus means in Latin poison. Viruses are intermediate between living and non-living. What is the meaning of intermediate between living and non-living? They are neither living nor non-living. They have both the characteristics of living as well as non-living. They are intracellular parasites. What is the meaning of intracellular obligatory parasite? Intracellular means they can survive only inside the cells. Obligatory parasite means they must need a other living host. Without a living host, they cannot survive. So, Viruses are intracellular obligatory parasites. Now, structure of a virus. Viruses are acellular. What is the meaning of acellular? Virus do not have a proper cell or cell cellular structures that is nucleus, cytoplasm or organelles. That's why viruses are called acellular. A typical virus contains two main parts that is nucleic acid and capsid. 
The genetic material of a virus is called nucleic acid. It may be DNA or RNA. This genetic material is surrounded by a protein coat called capsid. In some viruses, the protein coat is covered by an envelope made of lipid and proteins called capsid. In some viruses, the capsid may contain spikes for attachment. Here, the different parts of the viruses are given in a diagrammatic way. We said viruses are intermediate between living and non-living. To understand this concept, we should know what are the characteristics of a living thing. A living thing must be made of one or more cells, acquire and use energy, respond to stimuli, adapt and evolve, develop and grow, reproduce on their own, contain genetic information. Virus shows living and non-living characteristics. The living characteristic characteristics shown by virus are respond to heat, chemicals and radiations. They reproduce inside the host cells, show irritability. The non-living characters are inactive when present outside the host, crystallized and stored for a long period of time. Metabolic machinery is absent. So, viruses are intermediate between living and non-living. Now, we will discuss about the second one, bacteria. Bacteria are single cell prokaryotic cell, first living organism on earth, belong to the kingdom called Monera. Study of bacteria is called bacteriology. The size of bacteria varies from 1 to 5 micrometer. Bacteria are classified into two categories on the basis of requirement of oxygen. They are aerobic bacteria and anaerobic bacteria. Aerobic bacteria requires oxygen for their survival. Anaerobic bacteria does not require oxygen for structure of a bacteria. A bacterial cell is surrounded by an outer covering called cell wall. Next to the cell wall, there is a membranous structure called plasma membrane. And inside the plasma membrane, a jelly-like structure called cytoplasm. And the genetic material is called nucleoid. Bacteria do not have proper nucleus. They have only the genetic material. So, the nucleus of bacteria is called nucleoid. Bacteria do not have proper nucleus. That's why the bacteria come under prokaryotes. There is a long thread-like structure called flagellum. It is used for locomotion. And some bacteria are covered by an outer covering called capsule. There are some projections called phyllus. On the basis of their shape, bacteria are classified into four groups. They are coccus, bacillus, vibrio and spirillum. The spherical shaped bacteria are called coccus. The rod shaped bacteria are called bacillus. The comma shaped bacteria are called vibrio. The spiral shaped bacteria are called spirillum. If the spherical bacteria found as a single, it's called monococcus. If they are found as doubles or two in structure, they are called diplococcus. Sometimes the bacteria grouped into four, that is called tetrococcus. Sometimes 
The spherical bacteria arrange into a chain-like structure that is called streptococcus. Sometimes the bacteria arrange in a group like a bunch of grapes that is called staphylococcus. Single cell called coccus occur in pairs called diploid, diplococcus, group of four, tetrad, chain like streptococcus, grape like staphylococcus. The bacteria are classified into five groups on the basis of number and arrangement of flagella. If a bacteria contains single flagella at one end, it's called monotrichus. If a bacteria contains one flagella at both the ends, that is called amphitrichus. If a bacteria contains a bunch of flagella at one end, then it's called lophotrichus. If a bacteria contains flagella all around the body, then it is called peritrichus. If there is no flagella around their body, then it's called atrichus. After listening the class, I have given you few exercises to do. Here, there are eight words are given. In these words, some letters are missing. Find out the letters and make a proper word. In exercise two, Find out the correct words from the box and fill the blanks. Try to answer the following. List out the various types of microorganisms. Mention the two features of microorganism. Here, a structure of bacterial cell is given. Draw and label the parts flagellum, cytoplasm, nuclei, pili, and ribosome. Here, this table shows different shapes of bacteria. Use the correct shape of the bacteria. Here, four bacteria are given. By looking at the flagella, find out their correct name. Thank you.